What's up you guys? So it's your girl April and today's video is brought to you by VIP Wigs. So this is the very first HD lace frontal I've ever tried out. So we're going to get into this. You do get a scrunchie, also a wig cap. You also get a comb in this as well as that as you do get a satin bag to put your wig in when you're done. So this is the wig. This is a single knot 12 inch lace frontal. I do believe it's virgin Brazilian hair and it is straight. And as you guys see, I didn't have to do anything. I actually got the wig today and all I did was take it out of the box. I did pre-pluck a little bit of the hairline, but other than that, I didn't have to do anything. As you guys see, there are two, two combs in the front, which are by the temples and an elastic band, which is removable as well as that as it's adjustable. So if you don't want to wear it, you can definitely just take it off. And a nape, in the nape, there is a comb along with that and adjustable strap. So you guys, let's just get into this. Like I said, this is my very first HD lace frontal wig ever. And I do like the fact that I didn't have to do anything but just pre-pluck it to my standards. You know, each person is different. So you just wanna just style the wig and customize it to your liking. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is cut off the lace. I got me a new pair of scissors from the Dollar Tree Girl, okay? Um, yeah, new pair of scissors. I do like the small scissors, so I was glad when I seen these. Now, I do leave just a tad bit, a tiny, tiny bit of lace on the hairline, just because I don't want any of the hairs to fall out over time, but if you want to just cut it a little bit close, that's fine. Just don't cut it directly onto the hairline. And make sure you cut the lace because it's, you know, it's very important. So if I didn't mention, this is single knots. So that's a good thing. So the knots are not all swollen. And it did bleach the entire cap. There was just a tiny bit of speckles in the front because they didn't leave the bleach on as long in the front and that's where the hairline is at which is fine because you know I'm gonna pre-pluck that out anyway and now this is the part where I do always I just am going to make me some baby hairs and some sideburn hairs as well so if you have a nice good rat tail comb make sure you use that as well as that as I always state make sure you have some clips so that way you can cut your hair you can style it and nothing will get in the way now I am cutting a little tiny piece of lace off on the side and it does make a difference so make sure that you know there's no lace showing and my favorite hairspray in the whole wide world right now is the got to be glam pores hairspray i love this hairspray because it dries quickly and it also will hold my wig on for a few days especially if i tie it on at night with a scarf it's definitely going to stay i say about five days you may have to refresh the edges a little bit like where the sideburns is at but other than that the wig is on now if you have a blow dryer you can put it to cool or medium heat and you can dry your product but if you don't have a blow dryer just go ahead and spray in little sections at a time and allow it to dry it dries pretty quickly so you don't have to worry if you don't have a blow dryer just you know spray in small sections at a time I'm not sure if this is 150% density but guys do you see the lace on this nope you don't see it this is a really nice wig like you know I'm not the Bob girl but I think this one came out really cute you know I'm happy that I didn't have to do much to that so you know this is a plus plus they also have a lot of sales going on and if you spend $400 on a wig you will also get one free you can also use the code AF at time of checkout to save five dollars off of your purchase and I'll make sure to leave all of the information in the description box below. Make sure you check them out. They have a huge Halloween sale going on. So I'm pretty sure you girls will definitely want to, you know, check them out. And if you spend, like I said, over $400, you'll definitely get a wig for free. So that's a, that's a deal. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to smooth the edges down with the nozzle of my blow dryer. Along with that, I'm just going to press into it and to lace with my comb, the end of my rat tail comb, just to make sure that everything is stuck down in place I prefer to use the hairspray versus gel or anything like that because the hairspray cleans up very well so if you definitely want to take it off that same day you can do so without any type of gel mess now I'm just going to go ahead and just 
customize the sideburn hairs to my liking. I don't really want to call them sideburn hairs. We're going to call them wispy hairs. And I'm just going to take some of this hairspray and spray it on my toothbrush and just brush the hairs. Just, you know, not too neat. I don't want them perfect because they're supposed to be like kind of like flyaways. But I spray the hairspray on the brush only because that will allow just a small portion of the hair to be styled. I don't want all of the hair to be hard from the hairspray. So I just prefer to spray it on to the hairbrush or the toothbrush brush and then brush it into my hair now for this portion I will be using a little bit of my got to be glam force gel only for my sideburns I do put it in a jar only to oxidize it it will allow it to thicken along with that it will also allow it to dry and I'm also going to be taking a little bit of that gel on the tip of my rat tail comb and I'm just going to be placing it at the root of the hair so that way it will hold in place and as well as that as it will allow the rest of the hairs or the wispy hairs to be free and more or less movable so that's just one of the little tricks I like because I don't really like the baby hairs to you know gel down not all the time it all depends on the style now this did come pre-parted in the middle but you know I'm not really a middle part girl so I'm just going to go ahead and make me a part on the side like I said it's already bleached for you girls so you don't have to do anything and that is what I really appreciate I appreciate a good wig where I don't really have to do much you know it's not that I don't like to bleach the hair because I do but if I have less work then that's that means a lot to me okay so just to um, make my part I'm going to use a wax stick and I'm just going to spread that over the edges along with in the part and I'm going to take my hot comb and I'm just going to press it into the part now first of all these are really hot I did purchase this from Walmart so I think it was like about $20 and it does come in handy I normally will hot comb or hot comb all of my units on a mannequin head but for this portion of the video, you know, being that I just got this today in the mail, I'm just going to hot comb it while wearing it and definitely make sure that I'm extra careful because I do not want to leave with any type of hot curl, hot comb burns on my head. But this is a really good hot comb. Like I said, it was at Walmart. It goes up to 20 degrees. It gets hot super fast. So, you know, if you're in need of one, you could definitely check them out or you can check on Amazon. I'm just going to try to flatten the wig as much as possible without trying to burn myself you can also do this with a blow dryer if you have a nozzle and if you can withstand the blow dryer heat onto your scalp And now for my flat iron, I'm just going to take some of the bump out because I really don't like the ends too curved. Only because I know that sometimes when I wear a bob wig, I just prefer it straighter because, I, like I tell you guys, I have a long head. And also, I don't really like the ends to flip up from the curve. So I just prefer it to be like more or less like a blunt straight style. Now just to style it and just push down some of those little baby hairs or those flyaway hairs I'm just gonna use my hairspray and just style the unit I think it came out rather cute especially for a unit that I did not use any type of bleach on I didn't have to use any of my tinting lace sprays which was great because I just didn't want to but this is the finished look you guys I think it came out really cute it's very professional looking it's realistic looking the density is great and honeys you can definitely put some curl and style to this so you guys make sure you check out vip wigs i will post all of the information down below for you girls i hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think of this 12 inch lace front bob hd lace girl swiss lace okay single knotted and make sure you use the coupon code af at time of checkout to save five dollars and check their halloween sale so you guys on that note i love you all stay diva and divalicious uh,